Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today we're talking Napa know-how. <laughs> Come join me. Let's go for a walk through Napa. Let's take a look at some of the Evercraft. Let's take a look at some of the Carlisle tools. Let's take a, some, a look at the gear. Let's just take a look at whatever they have on the shelf. Let's go. All right, so some subscriber recommended that I get one of these during one of the Milwaukee review videos that I did. I think that's a phenomenal idea. I think this is like 75 bucks, perfect for the house. I like it, thank you. Another picture coming up, the Carlisle pliers. Yeah, nothing but good things to say about those. I actually used to have that set. Not sure if I gave it away, I may have, but they were really good for what they're worth. Love the grip. Here's a pair of this Carlisle wire crimpers. Those things are awesome. In fact, I have a, a pair of Cornwall ones that are the exact same in every way. Here's the Irwin bolt extractor. So this works great for stubborn or stripped uh, oil pans. So you smack it on, get the drain plug out, no problem. Love having those. All right, here's the Evercraft screwdriver sets. I think this, for what it's worth, how much they're charging, looks like a pretty decent set. Love the handle. That black and gray, kind of LA King color, I can dig it. This set, kind of nice. It's already kind of preemptively set up. You can magnetize that to your toolbox if you want to. No stubbies. This set has some stubbies though. Uh, 45 bucks, yeah, they look pretty duty. I also love these pry bars. These pry bars looked really good too. I was like, wow, I didn't know they had those. It would have been nice if they had a striking cap feature on those. It would have made them just that much better, but still pretty nice. All right, I think Evercraft got it right. So look at this impact set. All the deeps, all the shallows, perfect price. Here's another one. All the deeps, all the shallows. Look at their regular mechanic set. All deeps, all shallows, SAE, metric, quarter inch, three eighths, plus extensions, and a driver. Look at this nut driver. It's also an extension, so that's nice. They didn't overcomplicate it. They made it relatively affordable for you. Let's look at their wrenches. Now, I haven't tried any of their wrenches yet. I can't say anything good or bad about them. But it looks like they cover pretty much most of the sizes you're gonna need. I did take a look at the metric set. Was kind of disappointed they didn't put an eight millimeter in there. Pretty common for battery terminal posts, things like that, but it's all right. I mean, 45 bucks for a whole set. Looks like they cover some pretty good sizes even still. Here's their plier set. Uh, pretty generic. I would kind of compare that to like a Duralast or Power Torque. Here's some of their chrome uh, wrench sets that they had. Didn't look like they covered all the sizes either, so I don't know if that would be worth uh, spending any money on. Here's their four-piece crescent wrench set. Here's uh, some of the flare nuts. So these look pretty reasonable price, 20 bucks. Nice little set, comes in a nice hard case. Uh, just taking a look at some of the other things they have. Tamper Torx, Allen's, Torx bits. Look at this. They get it. Look, all the way up to T60. So at least Evercraft gets it. They know there's a need for bigger sizes. So I love the fact they actually go up that big. And then here's some pretty big Allens. They go pretty big in the Allens too, so that's nice. Uh, some of those Audi with transmission pans when you want a drain and fill, you need a big Allen like that. Uh, let's take a look at their ratchet. So this looks kind of like the one that I picked up from O'Reilly's except for a nice straight handle. Didn't see a lot of comfort grip options in the Evercraft series, but you know what, that's okay because Carlisle has comfort grip. Their hammers look pretty good. Their screwdrivers weren't in a complete set, but I think you could buy the complete set through the catalog. Here's their ratchets to kind of give you an idea. I was really eyeing this one, man. I was kind of digging that half inch. Individual sockets, I think again, you could buy a Carlisle set through the catalog. They come with some really nice breaker bars, long handled ratchets, pivot ratchets, comfort grip. So I would say this is, if I was looking specifically for a nice comfort grip ratchet, I would lean more on Carlisle for sure. Out of all the auto parts stores that we've checked out, out of even out of uh, Harbor Freight, even out of Home Depot, I would go with a Carlisle ratchet. They got nice teeth, I've had them, they work. They hold up, everyone seems to like them. A little bit on the pricey side though. Okay, let's take a look at some of the Carlisle pliers. So if you just want one individual pair, maybe you lost it under the hood of the car, left it on the ground, out in the junkyard, you know, you can pick them up here individually. Uh, they do have some ginormous adjustable wrenches, pipe wrenches, things like that. Here's their individual wrenches. So again, same thing, if you lost one in the wrecking yard or you left it in the dirt and God knows where, uh, you could just come down and pick one up and put it right back in your set. So no need to go and buy the whole set again. 
and you just buy one. So that's kind of nice that they offer that. Again, you could buy these complete wrench sets. Now they did have an SAE wrench set on here and you can see a little bit on the pricey side, but they got some nice incorporated teeth and heavy grooves in there. I've owned a set of metric and SAE in the past, they're great. Uh, grease guns, you can need a grease gun, grease gun for everything. These little acid brushes are handy, especially for like white lithium grease. You just kind of dip it in and wipe it on what you want to. I love the fact that they sell hardware. And even better than the fact that they sell hardware, like bolts and nuts, but they actually have a thread uh, measuring device. You can actually take the bolt that you have, run it in there, find out what size you need, and then go from there. But they, they offer all these different fasteners here. I think they're one of the only stores out of the three that are located in my area that offer bolts like this to where you can just walk in and grab it or have them deliver it to your shop. Gojo. Nice stuff to have to clean your hands. Some people like this stuff, some people don't. It's really up to you. You gotta have to play with it. Alright, so they do offer some specialty sockets here for like oil filters like the canister style on Toyota. Uh, they also have these band style ones that have been around for years. I think they're a little bit high dollar on those, but they are nice. Uh, there's that for the hose, the collapsible hose clamps. You can get that long pick set. Williams, I think, might make those for Napa. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Uh, here's some feeler gauges. So it's nice that they have this kind of stuff here too. I saw a lot of different specialty tools that they had that I didn't see at O'Reilly's, that I didn't see at AutoZone. So it's nice to know that you can go to the next store and they do have it. Here's a stud extractor or broken bolt extractor. Uh, some distributor wrenches, things like that. Uh, what else we got? Seal pullers. You got some other weird pliers and things like that. Here's a stethoscope. Mirrors come in handy. Stethoscope comes in handy. Magnets. Magnets were a little bit on the higher price side. I didn't really care for the pricing on those. Some scrapers. Brake tools. Just a lot of things. Here's a uh, piston ring collapser. Veneer calipers. There's a spill-free funnel that we saw. Uh, they had a punch and chisel set. This looked pretty nice. Pretty nice little set if you haven't already bought one. So overall, look, I think that Napa has a lot of good things, but the majority of what they had in the store, uh, it was kind of limited because it's not the biggest store uh, in our area. So if they don't have it in the store, they're more than willing to order it for you. They can get it shipped directly to the store or they're even willing to deliver it in some cases to your shop depending on where it is that you work. One thing that I know that they didn't have on display that would have been kind of nice, they had four after the Napa show that they had put on. I don't know if you guys saw it in one of my earlier videos, but Napa did this big tool kind of convention meet and greet in the parking lot and it was awesome. Well, they had four home mech toolboxes but they sold quick, man. Those things are nice and they sell fast, but you can get them ordered. In fact, let's take a look at the catalog and see what they got. All right, so they don't stock everything at Napa, and for that reason, you'd pick up one of these catalogs. And what I love about it is that Napa is like one of the last uh, auto parts stores that has a huge catalog like this filled with tools from you to choose from. Anything from wrenches to pliers to you name it, it's in here. But one thing that I wanted to share with you guys uh, that they didn't have on display, and I think oftentimes people forget about this, is their toolboxes. Okay, Carlisle makes some good stuff. We know about that. They've got a nice assortment of pliers and things like that. Now, I'm not trying to do a full catalog review. Look, if you're interested in gear wrench, they do have some wicked... Now, that's what I'm talking about. 100 bucks. Yeah, see? Okay, here's their boxes. Look at this. 72 inch, 1450, 54 inch, 1100, 72 inch, 2400, 54, 1600, 41, 1100, and they got cabinets for sale as well. Here's some of their service carts. And here's some more of their service card options. And here's some lube carts. And then here's some hazardous containers. So if you own your own shop and you want to put all your chemicals in there, you can. Same thing if you want it in the garage at home. Alright, so as you guys saw, they do have some nice boxes. They do offer a lot of 
different colors too, side cabinets and other attachments that you can put on the side of it. And I know what you're thinking, Justin, I don't know if I can do Carlisle because it's made in Taiwan. It's not made in USA. I think I found a way that we can work around that. Don't you think? Let's see what I did to show you guys that it is made in USA. Also, I think that this is great quality ratchet. I actually picked this one up today. I like the comfort grip. It offers a little bit more length than the, uh, the gear wrench one that I have at work. Uh, but I know there's an issue here. And the issue that everyone keeps informing me of is that it's not made in USA. It's made in Taiwan. So how do we fix that? How do we fix that so we can tell everyone that it's made in the USA? Ha! Huh. I've just discovered it today. Well, it was, this is really hard metal. Kind of got the USA on there. <laughs> so hey look, I tried, okay? I really did. I put forth the effort, I double stamped it. It just didn't come out as clear as I wanted it to. But now it says USA, so for all those diehard Made in USA guys out there, look. I just put Made in USA on this ratchet that already comes in at a pretty steep price. I, I'll tell you what. I sell you this one right here, made in USA, for 280 bucks, and you're gonna love it because that's a snap-on price, right? And it's made in USA. Now I'm just fucking with you guys. Look, you know what I'm saying. I love you guys. I, I get all the comments all the time about made in USA. I get it. I get it. Okay, it is nice. Okay, it is nice to have that on certain tools. And yes, you know I love being able to support the hard employ, hardworking employees in America that work down at the plant manufacturing tools for um, good other hardworking Americans. But you know what? We're in a different era, men. We are in a different era. And things just happen to be made in Taiwan. Things just happen to be made in China. Things just happen to be made in Vietnam. It's just the way that it is. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. From a manufacturer's standpoint or the actual corporation itself, it's one of the better ways to go because they can pay somebody to do it cheaper and still provide a good quality product. Uh, for those of us that are buying it, uh, heart's broken worldwide. But it is what it is at the end of the day. If the tool works, then it works. And in this case, you guys could clearly see I did double tap this thing and that is some hard, hard metal. I bet if I needed to, in a pinch, I could use this as a hammer and it would still hold up. That's all I got to say about that. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's walk around. I will see you guys next time, hopefully at Lowe's. That's all I got for this video. Deuces.